I watched my daughter for night after night after night, struggling with her schoolwork. She'd been at school all day, and it was as if nothing had gone in. So she sat down to do her homework, and it was like blank. Reading, writing, spelling, maths, even concentration. Almost impossible for her. My other children went in effortlessly. They learned effortlessly, like most people do. But um, like my daughter, it's incredibly hard work. And after watching her struggle for several years at school, it finally dawned on me that she was going to face a life without basic skills. How is she going to get a job and earn just to survive in life? What was life going to be like for her? What was she going to do to her self-esteem? So you imagine the thrill that I can share with you today that breakthroughs in neuroscience in recent years has told us that actually the perceptions about what she was learning were wrong. She was actually taking in a lot. She couldn't use it, but she was taking in a lot. Another research has shown us how we can develop the bit of the brain that was letting her down so that she can now access and use that information that she was being taught many years earlier. So my name's Winford Dorr, and I was a successful businessman running businesses and making a lot of money. And when my daughter finally told me she was facing a dreadful life, it gave me a completely new life purpose. So I spent my time and my money on working with researchers, with neuroscientists, with other professors and, uh, and, and, and a full team, working on finding out what we can do to bring this neuroscience to people like my daughter. So how is it possible that she can now use all that knowledge? How is it possible that my stepson, who spent about 10 years at school, everyone thinking and assuming that nothing was going in, but when he started using the techniques that neuroscience has shown us, in his last year at school, he was finally able to access that information, and he passed all his exams. Everybody, and I mean everybody, was amazed. How is it that an eight-year-old boy that up to two months ago had not been able to read at all, he started doing the, the, uh, using the techniques that neuroscience has shown us, and a couple of weekends ago, he went out to the library with his mum, got a big book, and read 300 pages in a weekend. How is that possible? Well, learning has three basic steps to it. Firstly, they have to be taught. Secondly, you have to practice. And the third thing is, following that practice, the brain takes that practice and creates a hardwired program of it, so you don't have to think about it. You can use that knowledge or skill effortlessly and consistently. That's what should happen, and it does happen for many of us in most skills. But for some, like my daughter, maybe your child too, some basic skills never develop. The bit of the brain responsible, it's the cerebellum here at the back, isn't able to complete the job of taking that practice. Now, the good news is it's retained. What they have practiced and tried to learn is retained. And the second bit of great news is there are techniques you can use to develop this bit of the brain so that the programming can be completed and they can use that knowledge and start doing the things that previously were impossible. So if the test that you've done says that your child could well benefit from this, we've created a brain development program that's available now for families and it only takes 10 minutes twice a day for about six months. So if your child is waiting for this breakthrough, have a look at stopstrugglingatschool.com and I wish you well in your quest to help him or her. All the best.